on the two Khalistan related uh, questions. See, what has happened is, uh, to be honest with you, in some countries, uh, these kinds of people have organized themselves politically and become a political lobby. Okay? And in some of these democratic countries, the, the politicians of those countries are made to believe that if they uh, de defer to these people or pander to these people, these people have some ability to get a community to support them. So they have tried to create space for themselves in the politics of these countries. I mean, at this time, I would say, you know, it's not so much a problem in the US. Our biggest problem right now is in Canada. Because in Canada, actually, the, today the, uh, the party in power in Canada, other parties in Canada have given these kinds of extremism, separatism, advocates of violence, a certain legitimacy in the name of free speech. See, when you tell them something, their answer is, no, 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 we are a democracy, but it is free speech. But the point that they need to understand, this kind of, you know, it's no longer a world which runs as a one-way street. That if there are things which happen out there, there will be pushback. You know, the Newton's law of politics will apply there also. You know, that there will be a reaction. Others will, uh, you know, uh, take steps or counter it. And uh, often, I mean, when I see, for example, these kinds of uh, attacks or threats to our embassies, because they concern me very deeply. And I tell the foreign minister, saying, suppose it happened to you. If it was your diplomat, your embassy, your flag, how would you react? So we have to keep our position strong, you know, on this particular report which has come. I also saw it yesterday night. I was coming to uh, Orissa in the morning. Okay, I mean, somebody may have been arrested. The police may have done some investigation. But the fact is, number of gangland people, number of people with organized crime links from Punjab have been made welcome in Canada. We have been telling Canada, saying, look, these are wanted criminals from India. You have given them visas. You let, they have come, many of them, in false documentation. And yet you allow them to live there. If you decide to import for political purposes people with very dubious, actually very negative background, there will be issues. You know, they have, in some cases, created problems in their own country as a result of their own policies.